back to the fish bowl. Psalm. It's a psalm that many of us know. The Lord is my shepherd. He shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He maketh me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Where it also says for us a number of things in 1 Thessalonians 4, which is helpful for us to remember. I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's important to remember. We don't have the opportunity right now to comfort everyone we would like to uh, physically here. And so we need to comfort one another with those words. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. That's John 11, 25 to 26. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 1 says this, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, an house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Now, we have the opportunity to, to lay our flowers on the Ask him and I have something to read as we're doing. So we'll come basically one at a time. Right? Yeah, it's one at a time, and, and then I'll probably read as you go.
much that hath pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our sister Louise. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose coming in glorious majesty the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the mortal bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works and follow them. Revelation 14, verse 13. Father, we thank you for the love that has been shown here, the love that each one has for another, and the love that we had for Louise. Father, our mighty and merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the dead, the resurrection and the life, grant that we may realize the shortness and uncertainty of our lives that we may live before you in godly fear all of our days, looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We humbly ask you to comfort the sorrowing and to support them in their grief. Raise us up, each one, we pray you, from the death of sin unto the life of righteousness, so that we too, when we depart from this life, may rest in Christ, and that the resurrection be found acceptable in your sight through the mediation and merits of him who died on the cross and rose again. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would comfort and support and shepherd each one of us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. At this time, this concludes our services. I ask everyone to carefully return back to your cars. And the family for sure when accommodating and working with us at this uh, unusual difficult time. So thank you. Thank you, sir.